Hello chess lovers, Sonic here and in today's video we're going to take a look at an entertaining game played between American chess grandmaster Hikaru Nakamura and world chess champion Magnus Carlsen. This game is from the last title Tuesday. As you know, Nakamura was the winner of the event, Jan Karzysztof Duda is the second and Carlsen third. With this being said, now let's take a quick look at this dramatic encounter. Nakamura opened up with a3. Andersen's opening. It's named after uh, Adolf Andersen, who played this variation three times in his 1858 match against Paul Morphy. Now, of course, in a serious tournament game, you won't see a move like this, but in online blitz, uh, even elite players are enjoying making such moves in order to entertain the audience. Uh, Carlson's answer was more intriguing, g5. Uh, th during that tournament he played Grob uh, opening, which starts with g4 several times, and this time, like in the style of Grob opening, he's going for g5, e4, c5, d4, c takes d4, queen takes d4, knight f6, after which white won this pawn. Really a, a, a nice approach uh, by Nakamura, right? First he opened up the bishop's diagonal, then we have a double attack at the moment, yeah, and then the pawn dropped. Uh, an extra pawn is always a good idea, why not? Queen d3, and now yeah, your b4 square is under control, there cannot be knight b4 jumps, queen b6, hitting on b2, and bishop c1. Well, here by capturing on f6 and then playing queen b5, white could really get a winning position, you know, easily. So, at the moment, black has a shattered pawn structure, and if uh, black accepts the exchange of queens, that can be even worse, that endgame will be hopeless. Instead, we have this passive looking bishop c1 move, and now gradually black is starting to equalize. Uh, the f2 was under attack. Knight h3, d6. Knight c3, knight g5. Black is doing okay, believe me. Then black boldly went for an exchange of uh, queens and grabbed the knight on h3, thus inflicting doubled pawns on the h file. Black is just doing great, and yeah. Uh, we have an equality on the board. King d1, knight takes e2, knight takes e2, rook c8. b3, rook g8. Rooks are for the open files. b5, a4. b4, a5. e6. Rook a2, bishop e7. Knight g3. King d7. King e2, bishop d8. This pawn is somewhat vulnerable and Carson is coming after it. Rook d1, rook b8, for example, preparing rook b5, f4, knight goes back to c6, bishop c5, bishop c7, but uh, of course uh, white is also uh, managing to create some problems for black, you know. There can bishop takes d6, bishop takes d6, e5, king c7, takes king d7. So far so good, but this king d7 is really bad. Better was king d8. Let's see what's the problem with it. The thing is that after king d7, uh, white is playing knight e4, something which was made in the game, and now there are these nasty threats hanging in the air. At least now it was good to play king d8, but Carson announced a check from g2, which is losing. King f3, rook takes h2, check, king e8, rook g1. So now there is a direct mating threat, and if you open up a loft for your king, then this time rook g7 is coming. And yeah, this is bad. Really bad. Just no hope to save this position, that's why after rook g1, Carlsen resigned. In the chess puzzle for you where the task is to win with the white pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section.
Thanks for watching. We'll see you in my next video. Take care.